Hi folks, good to be with you once again. I'm meteorologist Miguel Montoya from the One News Weather Center. We start our forecast with the headlines making news. It is unsettled out there at the present time due to a slow moving storm system through the northwestern U.S. that will keep the threat of rain shower activity around here along the Columbia Basin overnight and actually lasting right through the remainder of the work week. We may get a break in the action as far as precipitation for the long holiday weekend. It will be a chilly one out there tonight with temperatures ranging from the middle 30s to a few low 40s. It was a cool one out there this afternoon. Temperatures in Afrida only managed to make it into the upper 50s and low 60s. We should be at 74 during this time of year in similar conditions along the Columbia Basin, including Moses Lake. You should be at 75. Temperatures this afternoon range from the 50s to the low 60s, slightly milder on Thursday afternoon. This is where we stand at the present time. A lot of cloudiness out there with temperatures in the 50s. A southerly wind between 10 to 15 miles per hour. Winds tonight will be out of the east between 5 to 10 miles per hour. So let's talk about what's going on. I said we have a slow moving storm system. It's a cutoff low pretty much spinning in place across our state. As a matter of fact, right along the Yakima Valley and Columbia Basin at this time, We've seen some snow along the blues that will continue lifting northward into the Canadian Rockies overnight and on Thursday. The back edge of this storm system will continue to pinwheel some heavy bands of rain, mainly through coastal areas of our state. Snow will continue to fall along the Cascades and also along the Mount Rainier area. Snow levels actually falling to 3,500 to 4,000 feet, but your best bet for accumulating snow will be above 5,000 thousand feet. We're talking six plus inches of snow across that region overnight into Thursday. That upper level low pretty much spinning in place over the next couple of days. That could bring us a few rain showers here along the Columbia Basin. And then on Friday, more of the same. By Saturday, this begins lifting northward. However, we could get an additional round of precipitation working on through mainly coastal areas. Your forecast for Thursday, your best bet for a steady rain will be along coastal areas. We could see a few breaks of sunshine across our general area, but you can completely rule out a stray shower, maybe even a rumble of thunder. Temperatures will once again remain on the cool side for this time of year, averaging out in the low to mid 60s. So here is your extended forecast. You might be looking at a few showers on Thursday and Friday may be dry this weekend. The next round of precipitation pushes in by late Monday, heading into Tuesday and Wednesday. So have your umbrella handy the next couple of days. We will be right back with sports.